Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. We're walking into 927 Forest number 2E. This is a big two bedroom that's just a couple of blocks west of the lake. Uh, it's currently occupied, at least partially occupied. So we'll try to be a little bit respectful. The entry is actually a pretty good size entry. If we went to our right, there'd be a closet and a couple of bedrooms. To our left is a big living room, kitchen, and a dining room, spare room. Nice, nice space that can be used in different ways. Before we get into the apartment, there is an entry closet that's about three feet across by about two feet deep. And it's a little darker, but there are a hanging bar and two shelves. I'm going to just show you the front door that we came in. And then we will walk into the living room. So the living room is a nice big room. There are four windows that are facing west. He has them all blocked off for reasons I don't fully understand. But as I walk in, you see a decorative fireplace. But I tried opening one of the shades and there's actually a towel to block the light. So he must have, they must have had a screen, big screen TV or something that uh, made it very hard to see. I don't know, they blocked out all the light. The windows are facing west again, so ordinarily this would be a very bright room. You see it's hardwood floors throughout. It's probably about um, 14 feet long. The windows face the courtyard, so I'm just gonna get you behind this one thing here. So you can see that it faces forest, which is facing west, and the school across the street. From that corner, whoops, let it focus. We get another look at the living room. So it's probably a dozen feet across by about 14 feet long. <clears throat> From the living room, we have this little separator there for the mail. And if we go around, we see a nice big kitchen. Super clean kitchen too, a lot of storage, a lot of cabinets, both on top and bottom. I believe it's a laminated, yeah, these are laminated countertops, but they look like rock. The fridge is a full-size fridge. I think it's about five feet, eight inches high. And with a freezer on top. Fridge on the bottom crisper drawers, little butter dish. Again, you can see the uh, laminated countertop. So you have nice, actually, counter space because they added that. There's also a dishwasher, a stainless steel sink with a hose attachment, more storage above the uh, uh, sink and stove. There you see a full-size stove. And the back door will take you down to laundry and storage. So I'm going to start by showing you the cabinets here, which would really be the cabinets all the way around. Shelves are about 10 inches deep. I think this is probably 20 inches high, maybe 24 inches high. But you have a couple of those. And then underneath is a little different because they're typically a little deeper. And this is no exception. So it's about a foot, maybe 15 to 8 inch, 10 inches deep with only two shelves. And you have two of those and some drawers. This window is facing east. So you see into the, across the alley towards the lake. Get tremendous morning light. Full size stove. That I'm, because it's occupied, of course, we'll be cleaning everything. But you can see it's a big stove capable of cooking anything. Whoops. Turn on the hot water. It was just the hot water that's been turned on. Draining nicely. Wow, is that packed. But you can see he uses it as storage so you know it's dry and removed. And now we'll turn it off. You have outlets there. And an outlet. Whoops, Daisy, there cabinets here and straight across 
with more counter space. And I'll just open this cabinet very quickly. And you can see you can store on top of the cabinet as well. And we have an outlet there. The dishwasher is a full-size dishwasher. It's not brand new, but looks very new. So that's all the in individual components of the kitchen. Let's take one more look. Whoops. Boy, I breathe too hard and I lose focus. That's the side with the stove, the sink, and the dishwasher. That counter space and those cabinets. Window facing east, back door, cabinets and countertop, more cabinets storing on top of cabinets, and the full-size fridge. Okay, we spin past the living room, wow. Spin past the living room. And this is the room that can be used as a dining room as a third bedroom, as an office. It's a great utility room. It's big space, probably 11 by 12 or thereabouts. Face, the windows face east. You can see we get a lot of light. There are closets here. Oops, just opening it up. Probably about six feet or more, say six feet across. Shelf on top two feet deep. Very nice closet space. So I'll just close that up. Again, we see out the windows to the east. And from the windows, we pan around. Nice French doors. So they're glass window doors, glass pane doors. Beautiful hardwood floors. The closet in front of us, I'm pretty sure is the HVAC. So this apartment has central heat and central air. And there it is. You can see it's actually fairly new, which is nice. And we'll close that up. Go back to the living room. Past the front door. Past the uh, entry closet that we've already seen. Here is a little linen closet that is outside the bath. And then the bathroom splits the two bedrooms. We'll go to the right, which is empty. And this is an average sized room, 10 by 11 or so, hardwood floors. Windows are facing the back of the building that I think is to the north of us. And you do have... Now again, it's occupied, so don't worry about the clutter. We will definitely be cleaning. This bedroom closet's a little bit smaller. Two shelves, hanging bar, probably about four feet long. And again, about two feet... Whoops-a-daisy. Two feet deep. We'll go across to see the second bedroom which is still in use. That window is facing east. We have a, I think that's a little less than a queen, maybe a full-size bed, but you can see there's quite a bit of furniture on either side. I'll walk in towards the window. Again, we're facing across the alley. You can see he's got some furniture here, nice bed stand. Dresser over there, pan around. Little tabletop with a little desk with TV on it. And his closet. So Daisy. Which would be a similar size, only this has a hanging bar far to the left. I believe there's another one far to the right with a shelf in the middle. This is maybe a little bit wider, probably more like six feet across and two feet deep. So we'll close this up and we'll head out. Give you one more look at this bedroom. 
And so with the exception of the living room, you see a lot of natural light. And like I said, the living room is blocked off for reasons I don't fully understand. So the bathroom is in between the two bedrooms. You can see it's nice and bright, nice and clean. Sink with cabinet underneath, standard toilet, ceramic tile floor. Water pressure in this building is great, so there we go. And I'm just going to open this up real quick. You can see he stores under here so you know it's nice and dry. There is a medicine cabinet. There we go. With a light fixture directly above it and another light fixture in the center of, whoops, center of the ceiling. The uh, shower. You have a window right there, a little ledge, a tiled ledge. The bath is nice and clean, but of course will be cleaned. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Look at the tub again. Tiles need a little work in the corner, but we can grout those, and repair the ones by the window, which take a beating. Um, but we'll get that all cleaned up. The shower head, you can see I'm looking up a little bit, probably about 6'2". And if I come back down, I'm trying to move slowly. But just check the water pressure. Whoops, so I wasn't paying attention. That's set on auto shower. But you can see the water pressure is good. You can hear it. And it is also doing very well. So I'm going to shut that down. And that's just the hot water. So we don't, I don't check the cold one. That's not going to help you. Um, shut this down. Give you one more look at the sink, the toilet, which is pretty standard. Tile floors, back to the hardwood floors. Give you one more look at the bath, which is very light, very bright, makes it seem very clean. And then we've seen bedroom number one. We just came out of bedroom number two. Walk past the linen closet. Look into the living room one last time. And that brings us to the front door. Thank you for watching.